Hello friends and welcome back to my channel JS Lab. In this video, we will discuss factors in R. So factors are data objects which are used to categorize the data and store it as levels. It can store both integers and strings. Factors will be useful when analy analyzing columns which are having unique values. For example, yes or no, true or false, male, female, diabetic, not diabetic, etc. So there are categorical values, vari variables in data analysis. So one of the most important use of the factors is in statistical modeling. We will start with an example. Okay. I am going to enter data, one variable as data equal to a vector of 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, Okay, I have created a vector of some numbers. Now we will convert that one to a factors, a factor of the data variable equal to factor. So for making a factor, you should use the function factor. So it will show this one, show the how to use that one factor. So first one is the uh, data you need to enter, then the levels and ordering is required or not. Data. That's all. Now we'll print the F data. F data, if you print, it will show like this. So that is a data 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2. And it will show the levels as well. So 1, 2, and 3. Those are the levels. So if you table of F data, so you can see 1 is 1 is repeated 3 times, 2 repeated 7 times, 3 repeated 3 times. That also you can see. Now you can change these levels and you can create a factor by passing a different value. For example, here we have created numbers 1, 2 and 3. Now I want to display it as Roman numerals. So what I can do is take this one f data equal to factor of data comma labels equal to a vector of Roman number 1, Roman number 2 and Roman number 3. Okay. Now if I print out the f data, it will be like this. So wherever 1 is there, it will be replaced by the 1 and wherever 2 and 3 is there, it will be replaced by 2 and 3 respectively and the levels are also changed to 1, 2, 3. So factors are very useful and efficient way to store character values because each unique character value is stored only once and the data itself is stored as a vector of integers. We will see an example. Here I have created a vector of months okay. March April January so it is repeated there are repeated months also so I created a vector of months so if I put enter you can see that M O N S. it will be displayed that is the uh, vector we have created now I'm going to convert that one to factors I'm giving it as M O N factor of M O N S now it has been converted to factors and if you uh, display that one f n so you can see you will display the data that you entered plus the levels so all the levels type table table of m o n so now you can see april has been entered twice august ended four times december ended once february twice in that way now it now it, this, this one is the output is in alphabetical order you want to convert that one to our order of the month in an year so now i have entered mon equal to factor of our months then levels equal to in the order january february march april may june july august september october november december and ordered equal to true now if you check the mon it will be the same that means uh, whatever data you have entered it will show like this but the levels will be like this in the given format see here you have entered in this one a table of point you will get the values in the calendar order so we have added here ordered equal to true so in this order whatever order you are entering in that order it will be stored and another feature is while we are changing a numerical value to a factor variable we need to 
convert that one back to our numerical value because in statistics in many times you need to do some mathematical operations so mathematical operations if you do on factors uh, it will um, end up with an error so you need to come back to the numerical value for that you can use as dot numeric that we have discussed in a previous video we'll see an example okay so for example uh, we'll uh, i'll put data equal to a vector of 10 20 20 50 10 20 10 50 20 50 20 so I created a data. Now I am going to make it as a factor of data levels equal to factor 10, 20, 50, ordered equal to true. Oh, I, I didn't put factor. It was an error. Okay. We should add factor. Then it will convert it into factor. So now it is F data it has been divided to factor and if you want to find the mean of that one okay mean of f data if you put it will enter it will uh, end up in an error because it is not a numerical value it is a it is now a factor you need to convert that one back to our numerical value in order to calculate the numeric so mean if you want to calculate the mean of that one you should do like this mean of as numeric of levels of f data f data okay for the indexing now you'll get the mean as 23.33 so you, sh you should convert back to a numerical value for for the uh, mathematical operations yeah, we will see how to check whether whether a given value is factor or not here you can see i created a, a vector x a variable x with following vectors 10 20 and 30. now we, i'll check whether it is factor or not is dot factor the is dot factor is used to check whether a variable is in factor or not okay it will return false now i am going to convert this y y is equal to y is equal to factor of x now if i print y it will be like this and if i check is dot factor factor of y it will end up true so this is how you can check the whether it is factor or not now you can generate you can generate factor levels by using gl function gl gl function and this gl function takes two values one to indicates how many levels and other to indicate how many times it should be repeated so we will see with uh, our gl function the help function we will see so you can see here generate factor levels it takes two function two variables n k and length labels etc so n is the integer giving the number of levels k represents an integer giving the number of replications length an integer giving the length of the result and labels what are the labels that you have seen just now and ordered whether it should be in ordered or not we'll see with an example so now i have created a variable a with gl function with three as the number of level four as the number of replications and labels as table chairs and fans okay. if i put enter and print a you can see it has created table chairs and fan in order so you can see the levels tables chairs and fan. so it has created table four times chairs four times and fan four times that is the value four now there are three levels that the levels are table chairs and fan so in this video we have discussed about factors in r that is the uh, that is also an object in r and considering the previous videos we have seen all the objects in r so the uh, factors factor is an object in r so if you have any comments or suggestions please write in the comment section if you like my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos we will see you in a future video bye thank you